All right, we're on the exhibit floor here at Link Conference 14, and we have Patrice from Blink, um, and he's going to give us a little demo on the, the Blink and some new features they have with Yusiwa. Yes, correct. So, so this is the beautiful Blink light right here. Okay. Um, so basically, at the moment, it's all about presence in the office, physically displaying your presence. Um, so it does all the usual things of syncing with Link, showing that when you're busy, when you're away, syncing with your calendar. So it automatically shows others that you're not to be interrupted. Um, an incoming call or incoming IM can be configured so that um, it would flash a light so you know when a call is coming through. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how it usually works at the moment is you have to have the Link, the link client installed on your PC. Mm -hmm. um, what that does is it gives us an SDK to work with where we've installed our own little white piece of software that interfaces with that API and displays those colors from Link onto the Blink device. So in a standard installation, you have a small like tray app to yes. interface between Link and the yep. So it's an MSI that can, that can be fully deployed across the organization. Yep, okay. So, um, what we've done, so I'm kind of a techno kind of dude, uh -huh. and Tim over here finally let me play around with UCWA, mm -hmm. and um, as soon as that was released yes, um, last year in 2013, um, I just wanted to play, you know, yep. um, as a techno dude does, and I finally got the all clear, so um, I was able to write an application where... Well, it did come from a lot of people asking for the link, link attendant of support because at the moment no no busy lights work with the link attendant because the interface is with the link client. But now with the UCWA client that we've written, it now supports the link attendant. Okay. okay so I've got a little demo going over here. Um, so on this machine over here, I've logged in as Donald Duck and he's currently available. Yep. And Donald these machines are totally not connected. Yep. Totally only not on this. Yep. Yep. Um, and I'll, here I've plugged in our blink light on this machine. So this blink light could be in the same office or somewhere else, somewhere far away. So the possibilities are all up to you. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do now, I'll just, I'll open up our blink application. Um, over here we've got a fully qualified domain name for the link server, link 2013 server. Um, and then we put a username and password. Yep. So based on these three information, we can define, it will pop up what the SIP is and then get a JSON response from the link server mm -hmm. and then display that the presence on this link line. All right. So what I'll do now, so currently Donald Duck is available. So I'll hit authenticate and update. So soon you see, now it's calculating what the SIP is, finds the SIP and automatically gets a JSON response back to show we're available. All right. So now we are, we are seeing the presence of a computer that is not that is another computer from this, this Correct. computer. Correct. All right. So just to prove that, now I'm on Donald Duck over here. I'll click on available and move it to busy. And now in a couple of seconds, you see the big light has changed to busy. Yep. So what happened here was I changed my status on the link client here, set that to the link server 13. My UCWA application here was sitting the subscriber to the service of the presence of Donald Duck. Mm -hmm. So now with anything happens here with Donald Duck, the link server 2013 will send back to the, to our subscriber over here and change the presence. All right, so leveraging Yusiwa um, to make it that you can have remote presence. Correct. All right, well, thanks for showing us that. No, Thank you.